Hey, Dr. Dante here coming to you from the Research Vessel Point Sur out on the Gulf of Mexico. I am part of the Deep End Restore Consortium and this group of scientists representing their uh, institutions are looking at the impact of oil spills on the pelagic community in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's the community of wildlife living in the water column. And when we talk about the biodiversity of the water column, we need to think about uh, one group of organisms that form a significant uh, percentage of our catch, and those are the larval eels. Now, larval eels um, go through a stage in their life that can last a few months to a few years. That stage is called a leptocephalus, leptocephali plural. And in this stage, they tend to be flattened like a penny. They tend to be translucent or transparent entirely. Sometimes they'll have little uh, patterns um, on their bodies or they'll have a little bit of color in and around their head, but generally uh, they're just clear. And in most cases, the larval eels that we get in our trawls are pretty small. Every now and again, we get one big enough to show off, and I have one here today to show you. This is a leptocephalus. Let's see, I will start. This is the head end of the larval eel. You can see they're, again, flattened like a penny head end and then all the way through the body uh, to the tail right there. If you look at the whole thing, we're probably looking at something that's <clears throat> one of the larger uh, leptocephali that, that we've seen on this trip. So I bring all of this up because it turns out in the Gulf of Mexico there are over 180 species of eel that pass through their larval stage in the Gulf. That's a lot of species and that's a lot of larval fishes, a lot of larval eels, and it's a group that we need to pay a lot of attention to. I'm lucky enough to be part of a group of biologists working on a guide to the larval eels of the Gulf of Mexico. And Again, we know from our time trawling out on the Gulf of Mexico that leptocephali are a big component of, of what we catch. It's a significant percentage of, of the overall catch. And we know the importance of eels in these food webs. So it's a group we're really focusing on. It's a group that we're hoping to um, get to a point where we can depict most of the leptocephali uh, that are out here and get those all into a good book available for uh, folks in the future uh, doing bioinventory work. I just wanted to, to share that leptocephalus with you this morning. It was a bigger one. It was a little easier to see. I hope you guys have a great day.